In Akwaibo, the State House Assembly has urged contractors handling the new international terminal, new taxiway, as well as the maintenance, repairs, and overhaul building at the Victor Atta International Airport to speed up its completion. Chairman of the House Committee on Special Projects, Monitoring and Implementation, Honorable Uwem Imoita, disclosed this while leading members on project inspection at the Victor Atta International Airport in Akwaipom State. ADBN correspondent David Song completes the reports. As part of its oversight and legislative duties, Special Project Monitoring and Implementation Committee of the Akwaibom State House of Assembly visited the Victor Atta International Airport to inspect ongoing projects. First stop was the brand new international terminal, which is handled by VKS Construction Limited. The project architect in charge of the building took the team around the facility, while the consultant engineer Francis Owa said an automotive fire suppression system, apron equipment, as well as the communication system is needed for full operation of the facility. Another thing that we are waiting to complete is the automatic fire suppression system. Uh, what we call the FM200 and both the dry gas and uh, liquid gas systems. These two systems uh, still the contractor needs to make complete, uh, complete um, payment for them, for them to arrive and to be installed. Another thing of course is what we call the apron equipment, which includes lighting equipment for the apron, also includes the ground service equipment, it includes aircraft maintenance uh, and sub power supply, air supply equipment. Thereafter, the team visited the maintenance, repairs and overhaul building, which has overhead cranes, a workshop, an engine room, training and non-destructive rooms, an office area, as well as the 1.4 million liters tank of fire water. The project manager of the facility and representative from Kamosa Limited, Engineer Kobus Marais, assured members of the house that the project will be completed as soon as full payments are made to the company. I, myself, I am so committed to this state and these people in terms of this project and other projects that I also would like to finish this project as soon as possible. But I can only do so much in terms of the funds that have been allocated to this project. Things happen that this facility can start operating. Because the sooner the facility starts operating, we will all smile because this is the income for the state. Lastly, the team took a tour around the brand new 8.5 kilometer taxiway, which is being handled by Premium Construction Limited. Managing Director of the company, Engineer Kanim Rasbim, assured members that the taxiway will be 100% completed in less than six weeks. Taxiway is 100% completed. What's remaining is the connection between the taxiway and the rapid exit. We call it this one rapid exit 21 because it's very close to the end. And as you see, we are now on uh, somehow standby, waiting for the new program of His Excellency. On funds available, it will never take us more than six weeks to hand it over. Chairman of the Akwaibom State House Committee on Project Monitoring and Implementation, Honorable Uemi Moita, lauded the contractors for their resilience towards the project while urging them to put in more efforts for its completion. The quality of job, jobs done, and then it must commiserate with the money released so far. And even when monies are not released that much, we see that uh, some contractors have taken it personal to ensure that so many projects are completed or near completion. So we want to appreciate uh, want to appreciate you for that. We've seen the security way. I think I was in that entourage when the governor came, and uh, you gave your words that you you complete it. I'm happy so far, so good. You've done your own bidding. The committee further assured the contractors that they will revisit in two months to inspect completion of project. David Isong, ADBN News.